So I'm standing in front of our last Hayden tree. We used to have a lot of Hayden trees. In fact, all along the fence, both sides of the driveway were large old Hayden trees. And for the first 10 years of being here, I tried to make those trees smaller. The hurricanes tried to make them smaller too. Uh, and then I had a plan and basically I got some uh, professional tree trimmers in to take those trees down to, uh, well, varying sizes, but basically to a lot of them were down to about six feet tall. And then I top worked them. And I like Hayden a lot. It's a very nice variety, but there are several reasons why I changed uh, the tops of those trees. Use the Hayden roots, but put different tops on them. One is that there are a lot of really good varieties. Hayden came around in 1911, that's when it first fruited, and uh, basically there have been a lot of improvements over those more than 100 years. Uh, there are a lot of varieties that are relatives of Hayden that are considered improvements. And then also Hayden has some disease issues. Uh, it tends to get uh, anthracnose. Some people call them sugar spots on the fruit. They're black spots. Don't really affect the interior of the fruit too much, but uh, it, it is a not desirable characteristic. Another thing is that they tend to get jelly seed. Uh, it's internal breakdown and the flesh that is near the seed is, is sort of jelly-like uh, and doesn't taste real good. And uh, then uh, they also tend to alternate bear. You would have a strong crop one year and a very slight crop the next year. Uh, so for those reasons, I was converting a lot of trees to other varieties. So unfortunately, besides those problems, Hayden has one more problem, and that is it's susceptible to mango bacterial black spot. So I was out here earlier today and I noticed that a lot of the fruit had these little black spots on them. Uh, they're on small fruit, those black spots are even smaller. You know, you would think that that's not a big deal at all. Those spots will only get bigger. They grow, not only will they destroy the fruit that they're on, but the spores will spread to other fruit and destroy other fruit. So, this time of year, you think all you need to do is, you know, wait for your fruit to develop? Wrong. You need to go out and if you see any of these types of spots on your fruit, remove the fruit from the tree. It's the best thing you can do for your crop. This fruit is never going to be good. If you leave it on the tree, it's just going to get worse. Take it off now and you might save the other fruit that are not affected on the tree. It's so small, it's only going to get bigger.